Hi, it's Philip from CodeCabinet.com. Welcome to the third part of my Better VBA series. The last time I was talking about variable naming and how that improves the readability of your code. Today I'm going to uh, take that one step further and um, I'm going to talk about things that are not variable, about constants. And um, yeah, let's dive right in. I prepared a pretty simple sub procedure here, something that you are um, going to see frequently in uh, VBA if you're programming for access. There's a record set opened here, um, then we, we lobe through the record set, and depending on the um, value of the action field, we open um, one report or another report or a third one and um, do that for every record that is in the record set. So, so far that's pretty simple, but I'll go right through the matter um, and we're going to look at things that are not variable here. And what we spot there are these report names, the, the welcome letter and the reminder and once more the reminder and then another reminder and um, these are constant strings but they are written directly into the VBA editor and that is not ideal because um, especially with the, the reminder report here you see it's three times exactly the same string if you need to rename that report or if you want to use another report for that you have to uh, uh, change that in, in every location. If that is limited to this um, single sub procedure then that's not too bad but if you're using that r same report in other places in your application then you um, need to find all the places where, where that report is used and um, you have to rename that in each location. So one thing to, to deal with that is to use a constant. What I do, um, I do define the constant outside of the of that uh, procedure and it's pretty simple. I make that a public const and I um, call it report reminder. It is a string and now I just paste in um, the report name here and I do the the same for the welcome letter the report welcome letter it's a string as well and here we go and instead of the hard-coded values here, I am going to use the report welcome letter here and the report welcome letter again. And this is going to be the report reminder and once more report reminder. And the final time. So and if, um, if I want to change that in the future, I just have to find those constant definition and I'm going to change it there. Now I can simply re rename that to report customer reminder, which is um, more meaningful in, in the report name and um, I do not have to change the, the code in every location. It's just that um, instantly I've got the new report name there. So, but there's one more thing that is even more annoying um, than, uh, than the report names. It's this one. I raise an error if um, there's a value in, uh, in the field action that I don't expect here. And that is based on the VB object error constant. 
and um, yeah, that is a very long number, and nobody, nobody will remember that exactly, and nobody will know what it means. So, what I do is uh, using a constant for that error number as well. So I I copy that text, or or rather I'm going to change. It. Look, uh, I define the name error. unknown action it is a long value and is actually based on a built-in constant VB object error plus one I'm not going to talk about VB object error in detail but that is essentially the same value and now I can use my error constant here and now it's much more clear in this part of the code what I uh, what kind of error that is. It's an unknown action error, and if I'm uh, writing an error trap somewhere else, I can use that constant as well and um, do not have to remember that very long number. I just type error unknown action and I'm done. And there's no no room for any uh, typing errors or or mixing up the error numbers. So that is something that improves the readability of my code here. And that's what constants are about. You can never change the constant, and hence the name. They are constant and they will ever, always have this value. And that is never going to change in the, uh, during the execution of your application. Okay, thank you. That's it. Um, and uh, join me next time when I'll take this concept one step further. Bye!